cozy. Cozy cozy. It's a cozy cozy. Hi guys. We're gonna do an unboxing today of the Good Nature goodies that came with the X1. And then Good Nature just sent us some goodies and we really like them. If you guys are ever wondering, I get a lot of questions on like, is Good Nature good to work with? People just wonder in general, how's the company? Do you enjoy working with them? From the very beginning, the answer is yes. <laughs> I remember getting my CT7 and communicating with, I forget who my sales rep was, but um, it was just a great experience all around. They did a great job communicating. They were very patient. They answered all my questions. And every time since that I've ever been like, what do I do here? How do I do this? They've just been so, so good. They respond right away. They're a good company. We really like them. Anyways, drinking my juice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. So first thing you'll get is just the like bag of tools to get the box uncrated to assemble the machine to do the things. So they do send you the tools you need, which is extremely helpful. Another pillar. So all of this is included just in the purchase price. Like I didn't add anything extra, so. And they told me everything included is what you'll need to operate the machine for one year. So that's nice. Another big one. Oh yes, these are all the, all the press bags. Tons of press bags. One. Hello, how are you? Did you get my? Yes, I saw it. Like great. Nice little heads up. <laughs> so I have those. Buttons. Yes. Okay. On to the next box. They are. We have a lot of bottles in there. There's one more box. What is this? That holds this on the. Oh. More press bags. More pictures. Two more. So now we have a total of well, like three brand new ones. This looks like a funnel thing. Okay, now we've got this envelope that was in the other thing. Is that owner's manual? No. Well, bam! Oh yeah, I saw him say that. He said it was waterproof so we could hang it up in the kitchen. Cool, so we've got preparing produce, kind of how to press certain items. That's nice. Then we've got the maintenance guide, what to do daily, what to do weekly, what to do monthly. Oh, that's so nice. Replacing parts, when to replace them, hydraulic oil, when to do that, rubber gaskets, all the things. I'm gonna read that. Bag, bag of cleaning care. And then we've got the startup guide, which tells you hire a certified electrician to install the outlet. Already did that. Check. Select the proper Suggestions on what blade to use. What blade to use for what produce? Very nice. That is so helpful. I thought you were just about to say that's a clapper. Which is a and that's tradition. a clapper. You know Adam's family does that now? <laughs> Owner's manual. Very nice. Very important. Field notes. All sorts of nice things. Hi Courtney! Hello. How are you? Good. A few more blades in there. Yes, this is still available for sale, and so is the juice truck. I will link it below in the description box. Um, the pricing for this is also on the Craigslist 
make an offer. And then lastly is this tray that the juice falls into and it goes down the funnel. So yeah, it's a very nice little stainless steel juice catcher. And then tomorrow we're actually rolling out Judy the Juicer here to front of the house for customers to come and see kind of what the juicer looks like. They can see the machine their juice is made on and they find it really curious. We're also gonna leave out the owner's manual and just kind of look around. People are always curious of what equipment we use, how it's made, so on and so forth. And this is the chute that the fruits and vegetables go in and that connects to this guy. Connects to this guy and you push the fruits and vegetables through and it drops into the press chamber which has a bag. Produce sits in there. This has a hydraulic press, presses it out. Juice falls out through the bottom then it's bottled. And same thing happens with this guy, it has a shoe at the top, gets ground up, and then it drops into the press chamber, which also has a little rod, presses it, juice falls out the bottom. So this is literally a mini version of this, which is just so cool, because this is called the X1 Mini, and this is called the X1. Today we're doing like a like an open house kind of. Um, we got the new juicer, so we want to show it to people. People want to see it, the big one, to show people kind of the new juicer and how it works and whatnot. We've got the manual out as well, so they can kind of flip through. And then the juicer, the CT7, the one we used on the truck, got that out. And then we can't put this one out because we're using it, but the one we're using right now in the storefront. It's Saturday. We've been super busy on Saturdays lately, so planning for a pretty busy day and it's the last day that our people can sign up for the New Year's cleanse anticipating quite a bit of people coming in having questions and whatnot. Lauren's back here juicing getting some sweet greens in the fridge. We are here late hours on Saturday we normally close at noon but somebody popped in and he introduced himself he's from the YouTube channel well has tuned into the YouTube channel and we just want to document and say hi so hi Brian Hi. <laughs> Thanks for watching the channel and for visiting. This Absolutely. Is so much fun. Oh I my gosh. It. I love it. He's open, opening opened in December, it's right? It's open. It's open. open. We just received the mini uh, this week, so this we'll be week. opening today. Yeah. We're so excited about it. Uh, we've got yeah, next one so mini. It's, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So cool. We're gonna leave his Instagram linked below. You can follow his business. Just got his mini, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, new things about juicing on the mini and whatnot. So we've been hanging out, talking, talking juice business. It's so cool. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cool.